In this video, we're talking fall 2022 trends, what you should be wearing this fall, and how to style them. So if you're new here, my name is Chichi, and on this channel, we cover fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. So if you love hauls, try-ons, lookbooks, and fashion videos just like this, especially from a curvy perspective, then sis, you found your tribe, keep on watching. So let's go ahead and just jump right into it right y'all can see this vibrant bold dress that i have on um i don't know if i've included it in a haul yet so i'm gonna link it for you guys in the description box down below it comes in a ton of colors and two different lengths so i'm wearing the shorter length it comes in orange it comes in prints it comes in green and it's actually from h m so if it's still available for you guys i will link it in the shop my outfits link in the description box down below. Which leads me to segue into the first sort of category of trends we're gonna be talking about, and it's gonna be color. Color is one of the easiest ways to keep your wardrobe current and fresh just by tapping into the usual styles that you love in the season's hottest colors. This fall and winter, color still is reigning supreme we're seeing oranges we're also seeing pink especially at places like valentino they went a little bit crazy with the color prada really really dialed in with the color we even saw it kind of trickle into accessories by having pieces with tone on tone hardware so we're thinking our pops of pinks our oranges are a safe way to kind of you know test the waters with color so if your style is very bright it's very colorful very animated sis this is your season i would definitely stock up like if you're looking to splurge so let me know your thoughts on this trend so another trend category i want to talk about is going to be what we've dubbed oversized energy now this trend per se isn't new but sis it's had us in a chokehold for years and the reason why i want to talk about this trend specifically is because i know that oversized and curvy or plus size don't don't seem to go well together but i never want you to be afraid to experiment with your style because of your size which is why i'm going to be sharing some examples of how you can strategically try the trend without feeling like your clothes are making you appear larger but honestly i get it you know putting something that makes you appear larger may not be your first choice now we saw a lot of these oversized pieces in places like max mara and acne now one of the ways you can be really strategic with it is in your choice of bottom so i've been seeing cargo pants everywhere i've been seeing wide leg trousers wide leg jeans these are very simple ways that you can tap into the oversized style and energy by pairing those those cargo pants those jeans those trousers with more fitted pieces up top you're not you don't look like you're swimming in it right I've seen girls of different sizes kill the cargo trend so you can definitely experiment with this at any size now if you're a little bit smaller on top you could also consider you know an oversized uh, oversized blazer now again this is all about preference and you know you know, pushing the fashion or the style envelope. The key to really nailing this trend as a plus size woman um, or as a curvy woman is to know your silhouettes and to style the pieces accordingly. It does kind of go against a lot of the rules, which I have also shared myself. So let me know your thoughts on this oversized trend. Are you for it? I hear you're against it. I know it's not gonna be for everyone, but I challenge you to try it. One of the freshest trends to come out of the fall and winter season is gonna be bomber jackets. Leather bomber jackets, lightweight bomber jackets, wool, you name it. So places like Givenchy, Prada, they definitely embrace this trend. And I kind of touched on bomber jackets in my first fall haul. If you haven't seen that, it was my Nordstrom anniversary sale haul. And did I pick up a bomber jacket? Yes, I did. And I told everybody to pick up one as well. So bomber jackets, but not in the traditional way, but bomber jackets with more feminine pieces. And I feel like I saw a lot of hybrids, kind of like bomber biker hybrids um, as well. And I'm gonna link some options 
options down below because I do see like H&M had some options. Let me tell you right now. Places like H&M, um, ASOS, where you can find these trends at great quality and great prices, those pieces literally fly off the shelf. When I say fly, fly. So, especially in the outerwear category, I know how hard it is to find certain trends in plus. So I'm saying it right now because I'm going to link some options for you guys in the description box. And if it's a trend that you really feel resonates with your style, I would not wait. It's going to be gone. And that leads me to the 90s minimalism. If you like to keep things pared down, if you like to keep things very simple, then this is definitely the trend for you. And although the maximalists, I think, are are definitely having this season, okay? This is one trend, okay, that you can find your home in. So when you're thinking 90s, definitely thinking like slip dresses and high-end basics like the white tank top. I was shooketh, okay, at how many designer brands decided they wanted to, you know, really invest in the white tank. Definitely was one of the hero pieces at like the Prada show. And I've got a little hack for you, sis, okay? If you want to give that high-end vibe, go ahead and pick up a, a white tank top from any of your favorite places and then invest in a little um, Prada pin, okay? And put that Prada pin wherever you want it. So let me know your thoughts on this trend if you're enjoying the video so far <laughs> go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you learned something new then tell a friend about a friend I mean I think we're friends right go ahead and share this video so I know I mentioned trousers and that kind of leads me into the next big trend that we saw a lot of and that's going to be tailoring so we saw a lot of tailoring at places like Gucci and Dolce and Gabbana Essentially, it's suiting, right? Stolen from the boys, you know, oversized suits, even with ties. Now, for everyday wear, that might be a little bit much, um, but some of the ways you can incorporate this suiting, again, is going to be with some with oversized blazers and, and this is a great trend for my girls who are who work corporate who dress up okay for work vest is another great way that you can incorporate a vest with some wide leg pants i've seen some really cute options so you're having that borrowed from the boys look again high-waisted pleated wide leg pants definitely very much a nod to this trend and you can you know make it more street style by adding some sneakers maybe a pair of boots or pumps for work so you can take it from work to weekend as well and then something i've seen a lot of that i haven't kind of mentioned is going to be maxi skirts even maxi skirts created in that sort of like suiting um fabric so let me know your thoughts on this trend are you for it are you against it do you see yourself you know, rocking full-on three-piece suit with a tie? I would love to know your thoughts in the comments down below. And I feel like I saved the most extra <laughs> trend for last, and that's gonna be sequins on anything and everything, okay? But dazzling sequins on every and everything, from shoes to bags to clothes to headbands, any and everything that could be bedazzled, rhinestones, metallic, shine, sis. If this, that's your style, if you love extra, then sis, this is your season. And again, if this is your style, this is the season to really stock up on those pieces because you know the more on trend something is, the more accessible it is. To make this wearable, if you're someone who's like, I'm not walking around looking like a disco ball, I suggest leaning towards the metallics. So, you know, maybe a sweater with some metallic thread, maybe a bag in a gold or silver. I know Coach had those mini tabbies and even mixing metals. Like That's a great way to incorporate this trend and make it wearable. So we're not saving our sequins 
for the holidays only. We're wearing our sequins now. If you're trying to incorporate this trend, my suggestion is to pick one thing that's bedazzled, that is extra, and then kind of tone it down with other pieces so it doesn't look like, you know, you're a walking disco ball. That's how I would wear this trend, but let me know. I found this dupe for one of the it bedazzle bags. If your style is not maximal, if you're not about maximalism, if you like to keep things toned down, this is going to be a trend that I would call a save, okay? And if you don't know what I'm talking about, my uh, video on the three essential steps you need to take before you buy anything for fall um, is already live because we talked about the spend, save, and splurge categories for the upcoming season. So, so let me know your thoughts on sequins coming back full force this season. Now, if you want the tea on this dress that I have on, I think I already talked about it, but just in case I didn't, <laughs> um, it's going to be linked down below in the Shop My Looks um, link. Anything else, anything else that you, if you're watching any of my videos and you come across something you're interested in, my skincare, my makeup, my jewelry, my furniture, it's all linked there. While you're there, go ahead and download the app and follow me. Um, and the reason why is because you get so many more features when you have access to the app. You can search for things. Like one of the top things I'm asked is, you know, where do I get my strapless bras from? Because, you know, I wear a size 40 F or where do I get my shapers from? When you download the app, you can easily just search shaper under my profile and all of my favorite shapers will pop up you know, strapless bra and all of that will pop up. My wigs, you can even search and that will pop up. You wanna simplify the process and you don't wanna wait for me to respond, then sis, download the app. Okay, so I'm not going anywhere. Let's continue the conversation down below. Definitely let me know which trend you're most excited to try. And if you enjoyed this video, I'm sure you will like this video and this video don't forget to rate comment subscribe and share and until next time stay blessed